Cleveland. It's going to be on full display over the next 12 weeks. It's going to see a lot of wine and gold. Oh, yes. As the Cavs advance in the NBA playoffs, you'll be seeing a lot of that. But what will you see for the Republican National Convention? News Channel 5 John Kosick joins us. John, organizers want to find a way for people to show their support. Yeah, we know with Clevelanders, when it comes to their sports teams, they wear their hearts on their sleeves. So maybe as they head out to the convention, their pride they will wear on their head, their back, or maybe their car. Civic pride evident in both convention logos this year. Philadelphia incorporating the Liberty Bell while Cleveland playing off its rock and roll roots. But if you're looking to show off that pride on a shirt, button, banner, or hat, you can't just yet. Actually, we're finalizing a lot of pieces with, with the committee on arrangements and with the host committee. Details on how and where people will be able to get their hands on the merchandise that will feature a range of looks. There's going to be a number of different types of merchandise. Um, some logoed with Cleveland and the host committee and RNC Cleveland together. Some, some that are just the logo of the convention. And much like downtown will be covered in banners and signs welcoming guests, the host committee is hoping to extend that feeling to your neighborhood. We're going to have uh, things for sale, um, uh, uh, merchandise, so people in their homes and their businesses can welcome people to the RNC, whether it's flags or window clings or, or, uh, uh, or stickers or, or things like that, that if they just want to show their support, they'll be able to go online and order those things. And while the host committee is charged with raising the money needed to stage the convention, these items will essentially be a cost. Those are things we're not going to make money from. We just want to have them available so, so the community can best show their support. Well, Gilbert says they're working out right now where, in addition to online, the goods will be available downtown and who will be the ones selling them. On your side, John Kosick, News Channel 5.